good morning and welcome back to Miss Katrina G, my show as I will be cooking and making my banana pudding and my pecan pie live for you guys today. And by the way, happy Tuesday. I haven't done a video on Tuesday in months, so happy Tuesday to you guys. Good morning, Miss Sharon. How are you, beautiful? Hello, Miss Deb. So I'm going to make my banana pudding and my pecan pie. I actually needed my teaspoon. Okay, okay y'all, so what are y'all doing on this Tuesday? Here in Wisconsin, it's very gloomy, y'all. It's super gloomy outside, and it's supposed to be a snow, a little bitty snowstorm. So I'll fill you in on that. A little bitty snowstorm. So it was hard. I don't know if y'all can um, agree. I did my Thanksgiving shopping yesterday. On Monday, I recorded that too, so stay tuned for that. On Monday, and they were out of these pie crusts, y'all, everywhere. We had to literally, when I got to the store to get my last three items at Walmart, they had every item that I need, only one item. So if you're going to shop, you probably need to do it now. But for my pecan pie, which is what I'm going to do first, I already have my oven preheated on 350. I have the dark k -roll corn syrup. Let me see who in here. Hey, Dan. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning, Sonia. Hey, beautiful. What's up, Jazzy? For sure. My eyelash bothered me off. We got Miss Nicole Taylor Crawford. Hey, gorgeous. What's up, Miss Stacy? How are you? Hey, Eastside. I see the eyes. What's that about? Good morning, Consuela. Hello, beautiful. All right, so I need a bowl. Y'all, I got I to gotta upgrade my space. My kitchen is beautiful, but it's a little tight. A tad bit tight, so I do need to upgrade on some space. But I do have my new freezer that I can cook and clean. Well, cook on. Yeah, so <laughs> not cook, but you know, prepare, prep stuff on. So I got my pie crust. Let me get into this video. And my life is a little Oh, congratulations, Dan. One more month, and you in there. Mm -mm. One mm -mm. more month. It's only nine months. She overdue. Oh, wait. 11 months? Mm -hmm. Stop playing, Dan. I'm talking about the one more. I know, right? <laughs> you know I ain't got no kids. I'm like, uh -uh. It's only nine months. <laughs> you know I don't have any kids. <laughs> wow. That, I hope nobody screen recorded that. <laughs> hey, Barbara. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Barbara. said 11 months. I'm over here talking about some. Oh, good. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, OMG. Yeah, y'all. It's a gloomy day. I didn't put those dishes away. I'm not. Don't mind my dishes, y'all. They clean, but I meant to put them away. All right. So, you're going to need one cup of sugar. I'm going to use this. One cup of all, pur oh, all purpose white sugar, pure sugar, pure white sugar. That's for to start off your pecan point. I should have used my other ones, but this is fine. This is blue. Not brown sugar, although it is brown. Do not, I repeat, do not use brown sugar. Use white sugar. Also need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. She busy looking at y'all while she cooking. <laughs> Congratulations, Dan. No, Stacy, he is. He's serious. I'm pretty sure he's been telling me about the baby uh, for a little while now. So. I didn't know if she was 11 months. I think he had a typo, or if she is, we're praying for I her. I think you can be 11 months. They would rush her into emergency. They would have got the baby out. Yeah, emergency. The baby would be walking. 
right? Oh, not eleven months. I don't, it'll I don't be, know. Um, <laughs> it'd be overbearing. Like they got to get her out. It'd be critical. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't have kids, you guys, so bear with me. But I, I do know it's nine months. I don't know. I thought I was thinking about a whole year. I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. You need help. I do. Thank you. You grab that. Okay. So y'all. Anyways, this is what I have. I have a couple bags of these. I don't need all of these at all. These are pecans, roasted and salted pecans. And so it was hard to find those too. Thank God I had Chris with me. He was able to get on his tippy toes and you know how at the top. By the way, look at the top at the storage, y'all. This is a teaspoon. This is a teaspoon of my vanilla abstract. And so, if they're out of stuff, kind of look at the top. The one thing they were out of, which I was heartbroken, is the cook and serve. Cook and serve banana pudding. They had no more of that. So, anyways, on your dark corn syrup, which is the Cairo syrup, syrup, this is what you need. You need to only put, I think it's one cup of the Cairo syrup in there. And if you look on the bottle, they have it on here where it tells you what one cup is. So, you start pouring all of this from here up. So you shouldn't even go over your ingredient measurement because it's already there. And so, let me do that. Hey, Reggie. What's up, man? What you doing, Reggie? You got school. What you been up to, baby? I saw you Sunday. But some stuff you just can't eyeball. You know how we like to eyeball stuff. So I'm pouring that in there. Let me make sure. They have the clear Cairo syrup and they have the dark. For pecan pie, you have to have the dark one. In order for it to taste right. Well, listen now. It's okay. Once that pours out, mm -hmm. see how it is? It's going up. Okay, don't pour no more. Okay, that's all. <laughs> that's all of her. So I poured my one cup of that spindler. You also need three eggs, guys. You need three eggs. Let's rotate. You. I kind of set my eggs out to make a room temperature when I'm baking something. So I set these out maybe an hour prior to actually preparing my pecan pie. Mm -hmm. So how do you guys, um, do you make pecan pie? And if you make pecan pie, do you prepare differently? How do you prepare your pecan pie? Have y'all ever tried chocolate pecan pie? I did see that. I've never tried it, but I think I'm gonna make that one day. Just randomly make it because I like to. I like to bake. I get that from my mom. My mom loves to bake. Hey, Nicole, girl. How are you, beautiful? You did. You made it to a live. Yep. There's a line on the Cairo bottle. My mom always taught me that. Y'all was like, pay attention, pay attention. No. <laughs> pay attention. But, um, so, two tablespoons of butter. My dogs are going to bark, so let me not do that. Two tablespoons. A little bit more for this one. Actually, I'm going to just do all at once. That's two tablespoons of butter. her own in there. I also have my butter. Make sure that's set it out. I sometimes I melt my butter. Depending on what I'm cooking or making, I melt the butter itself. So now I'm going to at least mix this in. At least. Mm -hmm. We're gonna mix her own up. Butter and all. 
That's dumb. I'm gonna see if I got a waste nearby. Hi, girl. Set her here and keep on stirring on up. See, this is why I melt my butter. I do not like um, butter to be thick like that. I don't, that you don't help. Okay, so Chris is going to stir it for me. In the meantime, I have. I have a mix of but we ain't gonna do all that today. So say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we're gonna mix that all in there. Just like that. Mm-hmm. So don't like forget to like the video and don't forget to share the video so that others may come in. Hey Tracy girl, good morning. How are you, honey girl? Okay, so Yeah, that is a miracle. <laughs> mm. Okay, so you put coconut in yours. I've heard of the coconut. He started, didn't he? <laughs> okay, so that's done. Now we're coming to the pecans. This is quick, y'all. Pecan pie is not as long as some people may think, especially those who don't bake actually a quick meal and you only put it in the oven for about 60 to 70 minutes something like that it's about an hour and you will know if it's finished i have to top it with um whipped cream so this is one bag so i'll put about a bag and a half pecans and i crush my pecans so, not flat or, you know, but not as big as they are when they come out. So, I have a chopper. Should I use my chopper? <laughs> no. Too late. I, ain't, I don't got time to go in the pantry and find it. So I have one of those um, jet blenders to chop up your, um, you know, Probably veggie bo veggie bowls, vegetables. Where where is it? In the pantry at the top. Mm. You don't have to. I got it. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned. I just chop it myself. So I'm gonna kind of break these down. Not a whole lot, but. Good morning, Sonia. You know how it go. So y'all, I've been a little busy trying to brainstorm my vlogmas, which is so fun, y'all. As a creator, it is very fun. So I will be in my office today, mm -hmm. brainstorming and all of that good stuff, trying to bring some good content for the Love Jones family. I think one thing about YouTube for me is it's fun. It's fun. Um... Pays to a certain extent, but it's, it's fun. Overall, I love to create and utilize my gift, my talents. Banana pudding is definitely good. I made Chris a banana pudding, y'all. He's gone. I think we got like what one spoon left. Literally a half of the a corner of the dish. We gave his kids some. It was like your banana pudding was a hit. So, it was pretty good. Alright. So, don't think I just chop all of my pecans up. I don't do that. Actually, I put some whole pecans on the top, y'all. So, I don't chop them, chop them all up for my little decor. <laughs> you know. Because this is in the mix. These pecans are in the mix. But after the mix, you're going to see what I do. Alright. So, that's not right. That's not good. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. Chop them up a little bit. So, now I'm going to pour these inside. 
my pecan mix and I'm going to use my wooden spoon to blend all that on in there. And some of them are still whole. What's that? What? They talking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll get to you. Some of them are still whole, y'all. All right, let's see what we talk about here. Yep, it's easy. And the crazy part, y'all, pecan pie, everybody has their own twist. I think the more you bake, the more you add your own little twist. I have citrus extract. I also have, I just got citrus, and I think I got strawberry extract or lemon extract. I think it's good to have different ones. So when you start baking, you can kind of change it up. You can change up your dish, make it your own. But it's directions on how to do a pecan pie on the Kale syrup. For those of you who want to learn how to do it, you can Google it. Different stuff, you know. For me, my mom, she passed down a lot of her recipes, so that helps me. And then we had to cook with my mom growing up. And so, um, Jones is in the description. You can. What's that? Market Jones. You can't find it. <laughs> yeah, this pie is going to be real good. Yeah, my, my brother bakes. My mama showed all of us how to bake. Even my oldest, cheap traffic cheese. A lot of y'all met him. He yeah, she, was... But you don't see your super chat. My super, oh, I don't have it set up. I have to set up my super chat, y'all. Can't she cash up you? Sure. Um, I think... The moderators can put the cash app on there. Thank you. Yeah, I have to set up the partnership in Super Chat. I know I had talked to Chris about it because technically YouTube has an option. It had had an option for me for a long time where I could have my subscribers actually join. And that gives me, what is it, 100% of my content because right now, if those of you who read the terms and the new terms and stuff, but it's been like that. YouTube has like 50% of your profit. Like 50. Oh, you got to tap the screen. Okay, I got oh, here we go. Hold on one second, guys. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. I don't either. It was probably trying to focus. But they get 50%. And if like my all and the subscribers, y'all are mine, but y'all not mine. If that makes sense. So if you see a lot of YouTubers, they have joined. So I'm going to pour this in the um, pie crust. I set this out too because obviously this stays frozen. So I took it out of my deep freezer and I just set it out. And so I'm pouring this in there. All of it. Huh? It's doing it again. Is it? Oh, it's doing it again. We got to tap the screen. Cause it's trying to focus. Trying I already to know focus. what I'm getting my baby for Christmas already. <laughs> what you getting me for mm -hmm. Christmas? I ain't telling you. Come on. I was supposed to get Chris something and he went and bought it. Mm -hmm. I was like, really? Really? Yeah, I was disappointed in it. <laughs> and now he got to take it back. See, if he would have waited on me for Christmas. Well, you going to keep it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you'll get a better one. How about that? You still get it, but it's going to be better. Yeah. All right. So, um, like I was saying, that um, for the... Uh, I get excited when I'm baking. For the YouTube thing, they have a join. They have a subscribe. Subscription is free. The join, it costs. So, that's kind of why I didn't do it. Y'all know. Even though you still got to make... You work hard on your... I don't dispute it. Because you work hard. Being a YouTuber is not easy at all. Unless you love doing it, which I really would really love to do YouTube. Um, whether I make millions or I make pennies, I love to do YouTube. So I'm here for the long haul. But when you have the um, join option, you pay a subscription like $6.99 a month to be a part of my family. That comes with benefits. You can do stickers, all kind of stuff once you pay for the subscription on my channel. So I was thinking about doing it. 
and and like I said, it's not guaranteed that someone has to do that. You do not have to um, join. It's just basically something you want to do. And I think that goes along with Super Chat is different. I could do Super Chat too. I just haven't done that. So maybe I'll do that in my office today too while I'm in my office brainstorming and doing all my stuff for my Vlogmas, which I'm super excited about. I got to get my costumes for Vlogmas for my intro costumes myself. So stay tuned. I may do a behind the scenes of preparing for Vlogmas. See. So, as you can see, I did not waste this last bag, half a bag of pecans. I actually put the whole ones on the top. So, I put the whole ones on the top. My mom usually do apple pie. I'm not an apple pie girl. I definitely know how to make the apple pie, but we won't be doing that this year, unfortunately. It's just me and Chris. Like, yeah, we, we don't like apple we pie. Gotta, huh? Yeah, we <laughs> both agree we don't like apple pie, but I love the way it smells, and I love the way she prepared it, so I do know how to do it. A lot of butter, a lot of apples, you know. Y'all know the gym. So, I'm going to put this in the oven for about an hour. Um, I don't need those yet. I'm not going to burn myself. Mm. I always burn myself. But you want foil at the bottom of your oven whenever you're baking apple pies or a catch tray at the bottom shelf if you're going to use the top shelf. Um, because this may leak over as it falls and then I'm not doing apple pie, but apple pie also. So you got to be careful. Usually we make more than one pie, but like I said, it's just me and Chris, so we're not going to go crazy right now. So anyways, that is my pecan pie. I didn't actually add nothing <laughs> or take anything away, but... Uh, love, love bugs, so don't forget to drop off the banana pudding. Hey, auntie! For real. <laughs> I won't... Oh my god, I was supposed to have... I don't think I was supposed to bring her some pile cake. Lord, help me. I got you, auntie. We don't have more than enough. We are going to have more than enough, but we did shrink our um our portions. We shrunk our portions, y'all. So, like I showed y'all before, we're using all this food. We're using these. These are kind. These are like the half size trays. Gosh, y'all see what her shirt say? Heavy duty. Oh, yes. What is that? Go ahead and read it, sir. I have the right to be bossy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'm so sweet. It was so nice. Right, Chris? <coughs> oh, you popped it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Me not bossy. It's a little spoiled, but it's a good spoil. It's a good spoil. Come on. I have the right to be bossy. Absolutely. Anyways, put this aside. This is the pudding. Y'all, this is the thing about Thanksgiving. I try to go shopping early, like I said earlier, but not too early because I don't want my stuff to spoil. They ain't got from the deep freezer. You can deep freeze some stuff. Like my turkey is in the deep freezer, but I have to take it out maybe tonight. I'm going to take the turkey out. I think I'm going to do that tonight. Yeah. But the thing about Thanksgiving shopping, if you go too early, you might spoil your food, depending on what you're buying. And if you go too late, um, ain't nothing there. Everything gone, yo. Everything is gone, so you're winning or you're losing. Either way. So, yesterday we were fortunate. We got everything that we had. We, when I did the list, I asked Chris what he liked, what he don't like. This is kind of our first Thanksgiving, you know, as a couple. So, yeah. Anyways, we are going to start off making the banana pudding mix. The thing about banana pudding, I like the cooked banana pudding, but Chris can tell y'all, we went to like four stores. Nobody had to cook and serve pudding. So, guess what I got? <laughs> The instant pudding and pie filling, which is okay. I mean, pudding is pudding, but still, I do like to do the cooking pudding. I think I should have got it earlier, like maybe last month. <laughs> last month kind of early because it's gone. 
It is definitely gone. All right, anyways, so I'm gonna put my, let me rinse this bowl out. I'm actually gonna use this glass bowl. Talking to each other. <laughs> huh? They having a whole conversation. Yeah, that's how I go. That's how I go on this side of you too. Yep, ain't nothing wrong. Don't let nobody down talk you because you use instant pudding. Shoo. Pudding is pudding. It's not the pudding that make the cook. Male or female. It's the male or female that make the I know, Tracy. What'd you say? So we fam up in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do it, so it is what it is. If you have to, just do what you gotta do. Just don't get cooked. And guess what? It's gonna take 10, 15 minutes to make this pudding. You ain't gotta be stirring, cleaning, stirring, cleaning. I mean, it has its pros and cons, but either way, it's fine with me. I'm making a mess. Mm -hmm. have to <laughs> clean up after. Yeah, pretty much. So you're gonna put two of those in there. This commands um you don't need the good part is you do not need that I know of, you don't need any evaporated milk for the instant pudding. All you need is the two percent milk. Just to make sure. But pretty much that's all you need is the two percent milk. Uh, you don't need evaporated milk. And you need two cups. Can, can I see that? What? This? Mm -hmm. Why? My glasses. Oh, I don't have my glasses. You saw me switching. <laughs> I lost my glasses, y'all, but I'm pretty sure I know where they are. I still have my other ones. Chris looks all over the house for me, too. I know, I know. I'm not a kid anymore. But... The good thing my, my eye doctor said that my eyes did not get worse when I got my checkup. They actually were pretty good. So what did it say? Just cold milk. Cold milk. So the instant pudding, you don't have to use the evaporated milk. You do with the um, cook and serve. So that's one thing you don't have to do. They said, can you link your in um, ingredients for the banana pudding? I will do that. I really will. Seriously. I know I'll be lacking on that. But I will do that. I promise you. Also, for my collard greens, y'all, the salt pork was out. Literally, the girl was like, we got one left. She stretched her arm. And this was what, the second store? The last store. The last store we went to Everything, yesterday. Everything was last. We got the last of everything. Yep. There was one on the shelf. I was like, get it, get it. <laughs> and the store was empty. I, I did vlog it, so y'all will see that. I might upload that video later on today. Okay, so because because I am using two boxes, no more than two boxes, y'all, for me, because I downsized, I am going to pour in four cups because you need two cups of milk, but two boxes would be four cups. So I'm going to pour that all in there. Put her back. Get my whisk. We got you, Nicole. She's okay. on break right now. Okay, give me that. I got you, girl. I can do it. I can do I'm it. Catch up with your um, comments while I whisk that. Whisk that. I can see them. <laughs> okay. I can see them. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
What are y'all cooking that's not the norm? Like, when it comes to, like, desserts, it'll get thick. What are y'all making that's, like, not the norm that everybody is making? What did we make that was not, like, I think we made everything everybody made. Apple pie, pecan pie, banana pudding. My grandmother does make, she bakes her banana pudding. And she put the meringue. So she put the marshmallow, I think. And then she, she might be watching this. She boils it. On my dad's side, my grandmother, who's my last grandparent that's still alive, she actually makes hers in the oven, y'all. She do. Yep, I agree, Deb. Yeah, especially on Thanksgiving, because there's so many, so much stuff um, to cook. Like this time, we kind of. Oh. I got my hand all over the thing. Oh, she done switched the camera around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of, um, I'm glad you saw that. We kind of, um, downsized. So we're doing turkey. My first lady is doing a dressing. I know Chris is like, what? Well, you gotta do your dressing. She's doing the dressing, and I'm so happy for that. It's good, trust me. She's the only reason I eat dressing. My mom could throw down and dress it, but I've never made eight dressing like I cooked it and made it with my mom I have to taste it because I make it but I never ate it I love my first lady's um, dressing so she's gonna prepare that for me so I ain't gonna do no dressing great she prep it she don't put it in the oven she prep it for me so I can add or take away if I want to but I don't I just put it in the pan and put it in the oven but I'm making collard greens mac and cheese white cheddar mac and cheese um we're doing turkey we're doing pot roast with the veggies potatoes carrots celery spaghetti candy yams, candy yams and mine are candy i think i'm doing that tomorrow candy yams and the um sweet potato pie we're doing sweet potato pie and my homemade caramel cake Vanilla caramel cake, but it's gonna be caramel cake, obviously, with the vanilla um, cake batter. So, yeah, interesting. Because this year we're just gonna be playing with food. Well, Auntie, yeah, we got snow. We do have snow right now, y'all. It's gloomy outside, literally gloomy, and we have snow, unfortunately. But it's okay. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'm extra. <laughs> Good morning, Miss Veronica. How you doing? Hey, it's Fafifa Gaming. I know that is a big spread. I agree. Yeah, I'm about to look for a different website. He's going to be eating that for two weeks. For what? Yeah, it's on my how much I'm making. Yeah, they, they overpriced me. Yeah, it is on the back of the vanilla wafers, Nicole. I add different stuff, a little bit, a couple of different things to my banana pudding, which you guys are about to see. Nothing major though. And it, but it's the bomb. Chris can tell you, it's really, really good. Hey, Dr. D, BB. What's up from the choice? All right. You can have this back. My arm hurt. Your arm hurt too? No. Okay, thank you. Ooh, that looked good. That pecan foil. All right, so it's kind of white. Try to put a little bit too much milk, but that's okay. I got something to take care of. I got something to take care of that because this is not supposed to be like Hold up. And we got some eggnog too. 
We do have eggnog. Said she want to try. Deborah said she want to try eggnog pie. I ain't never heard of eggnog pie now. Tasty. I heard of egg pie, so it should not be like this, y'all. Mm, it still gotta be some. We still gotta whisk it. Yeah. Hope so. If not, I'll just add some more banana pudding. May have. I did notice that I poured a little bit, a lot of sugar. So you are gonna have to whisk this for quite a, quite a little bit. She she won't make. She won't let me make the cake. You wanna make the cake? <laughs> Uh, That'll help me. Trust me. I will let him make it. Mm -hmm. I'll be directing him, but I will make it. Now I'm with Fam X because I'm making it. You want to make the cake? You That's can. fine. Okay. So Chris can make the cake. I'll put all the ingredients off for him like I did before. I got backup pudding, y'all. Just in case. I, I did put a little bit too much milk. So this should be, this should be ready by now. So, that's okay. That's okay. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, he can make the cake. That's fine. Less work for me. I am okay with that, honey. Show nothing. You gotta work smarter, not harder. <laughs> Sherry is caring. It is caring. Yeah, so you'll see how Chris do that. We have um, coconut pecan and also caramel. I'm thinking we're just going to do caramel. Yeah, Ms. D. I mean, Ms. I mean, Dr. D said you could have added cornstarch or flour. Tablespoon. Yeah, to the pudding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To thicken it. Mm-hmm. I would add that to my cooking. To my cooking pudding, but not to my instant. That's just me. Everybody can, you know, do it differently. I wouldn't add it to my instant. This is if this instant put in Dr. D B D. But yeah, I could. If I want to thicken it, I can add that. That helps thicken it. Oh shoot. <laughs> See, uh, Lady Boots, she had doctor print, but she had to make this live. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> now. That's right, girl. How you doing, beautiful? See, Lady Boots. All right, I'm going to go get some cornstarch. I'm going to take your advice, Dr. DBB. But well, she's going to get the cornstarch, guys. I'm trying to entertain you. We got a lot of stuff to go. We just we just started with the desserts, but we got a lot of more cooking to do. So it's good that I do YouTube. <laughs> I'm all ready to get up and cook because I do YouTube. <laughs> you go on. Oh, be safe, please. I said, no. you keep this up, you're going to have a cooking show in a minute. Right. <laughs> I told you I can cook anything. Give me anything, I can cook it, I promise you. Especially if I don't know how to cook it, read them ingredients, and I'll do my own little spill on it. It'd be me and my brother, because he's a really good cook, too. I know I keep saying that, but I got to let y'all. Do you want me to take back over? No. Nah. It's good. It's ready. She ready. All right, so this is what I do, y'all. I add my whipped cream to, to my banana batter. My banana filling. Mm-hmm. I love y'all. Listen. Listen, one day when my grandpa, because I was really, really close to my mom's dad, 
I was literally his baby. My auntie's watching. She definitely know. And I had a key to his house, y'all. So I went in there and I went in that freezer and I got me the whole. I'm gonna tell you, I ate the whole thing of Cool Whip, y'all. The whole thing. He was like, "You won't believe this. Your daughter ate the whole Cool Whip. Nothing with it." I love Cool Whip, y'all. So I'm putting a whole. How many ounces? Eight ounce of whipped cream into my banana filling. Yes, I am. Maybe I'm overdoing it, but it tastes good to me. So I put that in there. I had a spoon. Or did I not? Yes, yeah, right there. Where? Move it. Move the top. The top to the whip. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's too little. Oh, I need a big bigger one. one. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I got this one. I had another couple of wooden spoons, but let's see where they at. So I'm mixing that in, y'all. Believe it or not, this bowl is deep. So there is a lot of banana pudding at the bottom. So I want to mix, blend it, 100% blend it, y'all. Mix it in. 100%. So push that and use this so that the bottom blend mm -hmm. let's see yep still banana at the bottom okay so from there and see <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone y'all literally we made one last what a couple days ago mm -hmm. wow last weekend this weekend this weekend uh, this weekend passed so not a lot of vanilla abstract we don't want to take away from the banana but um yeah that's good i have this on the side let me get my pan So I'm gonna mix that in, y'all. My little special ingredients. We don't see the little sandy kind of look with the um, brown sugar. I'm gonna get every lump out. I don't need nobody crunching on no pot. Brown sugar. Mm-hmm. Put a little bit more tan. Mine is far and I think it tastes good with the measurements that I use. Alright, that's all she wrote. Alright. So okay. now we're gonna start putting this thing together, you know. They have one vanilla left, y'all. The rest of them they had generic. They all going down the same stomach. We're going to use them all. So one is already open. Technically, I only used two boxes of this, y'all. On my last one. So that's all I needed. So I layer this like so. I put the crackers at the bottom. Okay, so 
Yep, I just put them on. My first layer will be cookies. So that it'd be like a base. Yeah, I'm gonna, need some, more, I'm gonna need some more cookies in there. Huh? I'm gonna, I see gaps. I'm oh, trust me, it's gonna, gonna be a lot more. Really? <laughs> really? Uh uh. Uh uh. No, I know he ain't. Okay, so the only problem with the store, y'all, bananas. All the bananas was green. Comment down below in the chat box what do you do to ripen your bananas literally overnight? Help us out. These were the only ones they had that was yellow. We're going to see how they work out because I love a good amount of bananas. I like at least four. Four to five bananas in my banana pudding. I'll put that right there for now. Just for now. So that's just me. I do like a lot of, I like to balance all the ingredients in my banana pudding. And this one looked like they were kind of like over with. That's probably why they were still there. But, you know how to work around her. You sure do. But they gotta be eaten. Mm -hmm. Set that over there. So I put my bananas. That's gonna be my next layer. And I just drop them in there. Where they land. This is not no. Hold on. I'm gonna listen to, to Mr. Chris. Because I don't like too much base. Too much oil. Okay. But I also don't like too many cookies because I have at least two or two or three layers, y'all. And so putting the banana in there. Another banana. So the first layer is like a banana and a half, y'all. She said put them in a brown paper bag and then they were ripe. Okay, thank you so much because I got a whole, <laughs> believe it or not, I have an entire, um, Barbara Mitchell. Oh, thanks, Barbara. I have an entire, um, refrigerator right now. Not entire, I'm, I'm being dramatic. I have a bundle of bananas in my refrigerator right now. Tried to ri ripen them, and they still green. So I'm like, okay, that, that wasn't right, that wasn't good. And I never really had to deal with that because I usually buy my bananas at the right time. But for me, being a YouTuber, doing a live, that banana needed to be ready now. They need to be ready right now. And they're not. They would have been right. Um, okay, tomorrow or, you know, yeah, tomorrow when I actually do my prepping for my Thanksgiving. My dinner. Okay. So, next we're going to apply the pudding. Ooh, that looks creamy. That looks so good. Yes, we are. We're going to apply the banana pudding, the jello pudding, to the banana pudding. <laughs> mm hmm. How'd it look, Chris? Oh, they already see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking you, though. I know what they see. <laughs> what do you think? I, I already had it. I know it was good. How it look? I don't know. Really? <laughs> it really got me stubborn, huh? Okay. Okay. It look great. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. Go mm -hmm. on do it. Go on do it. It look great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And so, we're going to put that like that. I like to even out. That first layer, might just put a little bit more, yes, and I even her out on all edges, all sides, mm -hmm. okay, and I'm going to repeat that, I'm going to do the same process all over again, like I said, I love the wafers, but I don't want too many cookies, like, mini cookies is good, but not too many, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, use the cookie crumbs between the layers. The cookie crumbs? Mm-hmm. 
Absolutely not. I have a I have a, <laughs> a section for my cookie crumbs. And it ain't between the layers. You're gonna yeah. put it on top. Yes. Stay tuned. Y'all gotta stay tuned. We call my cousin Dan. Y'all know cousin Dan. We call him Extra Dan because he's very extra. And I guess I'm Extra Trina Part Two. Dan and Trina Times Two. Probably why we hit it off so well. We so extra. Okay. So if you notice, I tightened them up at the bottom per Chris. Thank you. But I loosened the cookies up as I layer them. I don't need no dough pudding. It becomes dough. But my pudding, honestly, I will say this, and I'm not just saying it because it was me, it was stiff. It was still like good, right? Maybe because we ate it so fast. <laughs> my pudding was demolished. So that's the second layer. And then I'm coming back with my bananas. Some people put like uh, almonds to top it off too. Um, this is good. You can put any kind of nuts to put on top with the. Um, see, this is why. This is this is the problem. No, oh, no, that whole banana. Going. That's a no go. See, I think that's how all of them gonna look. Sad. This is sad. Where that paper bag at? <laughs> mm -mm. I knew it was something wrong because everybody was like, "Yeah, no." It was in the bag, y'all. It was in the bag. Nobody touched it. But they were just too ripe, if that makes sense. Too ready. Too ready to be touched. And when something is too ready to be touched, <laughs> don't touch it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Be safe. Stay woke. All right, so popping that with bananas. I love bananas. Too many. I like to put too many bananas on my banana. B said it's cut them thinner and they go better. Trust me. Cut it what? Thinner. The bananas? Yeah. Oh, I did. I sliced them real thin. <laughs> <laughs> I tried my best to preserve. <laughs> See what she said? Who? Dr. B. Uh-huh. Could be he too. I don't know. Uh-uh. That's a 60-year-old retired person cooking with you. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just said Dr. B. I mean, Dr. D. Well, anyway, it go. We're going to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> we going to eat this, period. Oh, my Put God. Put them in a microwave for five seconds. Should I? Thank y'all. Thank you. The life of a YouTuber. Um, okay. It's not plugged. No. <laughs> I'll hold it. Here, I'll get it. Here. I'll, I'll do it. Okay. All right, so... Yes, um, I did, actually I did cut them thin, here they are here, so I did try to slice them thin, so I don't have to deal with, I was trying to preserve it, but I like a lot of bananas, and this is the last layer, as far as like, you know, adding the extra layers and stuff, so, yeah, we're not gonna put no banana pudding in there, that's, uh, no bananas, that's not right. You got it. 
So he said how many? Three seconds? Four? Five seconds. Five seconds? Okay. I don't know what made me put them in the fridge. I think. I think because like when. Oh, you know what? Yeah, but y'all know how you put bananas on top of the fridge and they get old? I think that's what I should do. <laughs> I'm going to be like, don't put them on top of the refrigerator. So, I thought kind of like it's the opposite. You're supposed to put them in the microwave. You're supposed to heat them up instead of cooling them. So, I may have to do another layer. I have a lot of pudding, but I think that should be fine. So, just press start. So, we're going to see. We'll see. Let's we'll see what, what happens here. This is why it's good to go live. I have bananas left. Hey, Brittany. How you doing? But I threw them away. The bananas I use for the other food. The refrigerator is hard. It's hard. Yeah, it got to go more than five seconds because they were cold in the fridge. They were cold. That's why it was hard to open it. Shame on me. Heard, we heard some popping now. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. DBB. Yeah, they wanted to cook it. Oh, it's hot. Okay. So. I think I think I put it in there too much. It's okay. Too long. It's fine. All right. This is a little weird, but we gonna we gonna work with this. Look at this knife. We gonna work with her. We gonna cut her open. You know, we know how to make things happen. We know how to make things happen. That's what we're going to do. So I'm quite sure we're not going to repeat really this right now. So the more it's in the fridge, you know. Or... Oh, at least she fresh. Come on out, girl. Come on out. I know you don't want to come out early. But... All right. Thanks, Dr. DB, DB. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to have some um, experienced people helping you. I really appreciate thoughts. All right, so this is my last portion of bananas. I'm going to add that like so. I appreciate that. How many did you go on all my lives, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh, no, she put the, uh, it was green, so she put them in the refrigerator. Trying to. I thought they was going to write real fast. <laughs> it's the opposite. It's supposed to have heat on it. Shame. But you learn. You learn from those before you. My mom probably would have been like, girl, let's get them. <laughs> get that out of the refrigerator. <laughs> get that out of there. Okay. So. I did that yesterday, y'all, when I came from the store because the store had no right bananas. Zero. Except for what I just used. And as you can see, some of those were too ripe. They were going bad. I used the good ones out of the bunch, but it wasn't enough. So as you can see, the two boxes of instant pudding was all I needed, y'all, for my pudding, my layer. And I did two layers, which is good enough. This is a deep pan, but look how well it's it had balanced it. I would love to have put another banana on there, but that's okay. I'm not going to do that. It's not going to happen. So, now I am going to put some more cookies. That's why I spread them out instead of um, piling them up. <laughs> Look at this, so cute. Okay. I got the mini ones. The mini nillas. That's all they had, y'all. They did not have any. Well, they had the generics, but they didn't have any of the regular nilla little, little. Little. They had the little bitty ones. That's too cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The babies are out. Hey, Nicole. Yeah, 
Yes, it is. Put your love in it. And there you go. You got the best ingredients that you can offer. That's right. That's like so. That is too cute. It just take a lot of time, though. No matter how cute it is. It's taking all my time. I would prefer to have the bigger ones, but that's fine. I just wanted the, the regular Nilla ones. That's why I'm using these instead of the generic ones. Either one is fine, though. Either one. And this is... My final layer, and then I'm going to put my last topping of cream on here. Mm -hmm. Fill in the gaps since these are little bitty cookies. Alright, so that's mine. Now, I will be eating the cookies. <laughs> you going to take care of them? Worry about them. They're gonna be gone, huh? All right. So now I'm gonna put whipped cream. Oops, oops. Whipped cream on top. I'm gonna top her with whipped cream, y'all. Period. Okay. <coughs> crumble them in your hands and then sprinkle them on top. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the thing. Yeah, I crumble them. I do crumble them, but they. I crumble them in the bag. Yeah, what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I keep them in this little bag right here, the ones I have left over, and I and I crunch them, and I put them on top. That's how I finish it. That's how I finish my poutine. So the little broken ones, they don't go to waste. We use those too. That's what we do. Mhm. Mm so spread her out. Don't worry, your girl got whipped cream for days. Chris can tell you. <laughs> yeah, we got two more in the freezer. I came in yesterday with my groceries. He was like, girl, you got whipped cream already in your freezer. I was like, I know it. We gonna use it. Don't worry. We gonna wake up and come over and I'm gonna be eating whipped cream out the bowl. Lord have mercy. That's how much I love whipped cream. I love whipped cream. So I don't want it too thick in areas, so I kind of want to spread her out. And if you notice how I do it, my cookies don't drag. They actually are sitting there. That's what I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. They're not all over the place. Which is good. Really, really good. Really, really, really good. Okay. Like. So, alright, this should be good. Show up her a little bit, smooth her out. I don't know if it's smooth or not because the lumps will be balanced. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, you don't want no cookie showing, that means there's no whipped cream there. Alright. Now I'm going to need you to step to the side and let them see. Because the light. Oh, I'm in the way. Okay. There we go. All right. So. Smooth it out. She smoothed out. Now. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah. Think about that bully. <laughs> no. I've never been bullied. I'll be honest with you. I've always been a crazy. But sweet. Huh? What'd you say, buddy? She <laughs> said only if looks can tell. Good morning. Oh, I saw that. Come on, she said. Oh, yeah. That was what you said. Love book house. That's how you blend us. Uh huh. Come on, see. <laughs> That's why you have to move. My hair was on top of the hoodie. Dr. B says she got to get you a rolling pin. A what? Rolling pin. 
Rolling pin? Mm -hmm. I got it. I got everything I, I need. I really do. I just don't use them. But you can still send one. <laughs> Almonds on top. I mean, you can decorate the top of your uh, banana pudding how you want to do it. What don't I have though? Let's see. I just got. What did I just get? No, that's food. Mm -hmm. Bacon flour. I guess you can always have something, you know, to add to the kitchen. To your kitchen. So that's not true. Anything I don't have everything grateful. I need. Huh? Yeah, anything that's grateful. That's true. That is true. Thanks, Tracy. Let me think, Dr. DVD. I know I, there's many things I need. I will say that. So how but that pie you don't need? I'm going to bring that out. I'm going to okay. bring it out for them to see. All right, so. And Check out. Please wear your crown bracelet. <laughs> Check her out. Yeah, I will put her link in the description. Look at how it's sparkling. But anyways, here is my banana pudding. My banana pudding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, without burning myself, yeah. or I'll have Chris do it, mm -hmm. taking out the pecan pie, although it may not be fully done, but it may be. We're going to find out. It looks like it. I don't think so. I'm gonna still show y'all how it looks so far. Oh Lord, it, it looks pretty. Seems like it's not ready. <laughs> I don't think it is ready. Okay, so here is my pecan pie. Yeah, but it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet, y'all. So, anyways, that is how I prepare or make my banana pudding. And my pecan pie. Stay tuned for tomorrow's live. Chris is going to try it. And he's going to let you know what he think of my pecan pie. You cannot have that without ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, that is. And some good old whipped cream on it. Okay. So, we're going to do that. And stay tuned for what you girl going to be cooking to prepare for Thanksgiving on tomorrow's live video. So, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hold on. You gotta put the um, descriptions in the video. It'll be at the bottom, guys. Okay, I'll do that. But Dr. DBB, um, yeah, anything works. I mean, even if you have one thing, it doesn't hurt to have some extra. So I'm grateful for whatever you said. And thank you so, so much for your help. All of you guys. Yeah, the pie is not done yet, Auntie. Well, you saw that. <laughs> it's still loose. Thank you, Dr. DBB. Appreciate it. You're going to have me cooking. <laughs> you better get to it, Stacey. Hey, Rochelle. Welcome to the live. You can play it back. I am finished now, but I made my quick and easy banana pudding and some good old um, pecan pie. Hey, Trina. Welcome to the live. What's up, Trini Ware? I know you've been there. I'm sorry. I, I missed you. But hey there. Oh, Patty got banana pudding. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you, C.L. Brown. She have a P.O. box and a cash app. Um, they have put in the script. They are putting in the... Um, Description. Yeah, they are... If you can't see it in this video, check out another video. No. I have all that information in the description. I do not have my cash app in the description. No, the what's name is um, the Love Jones. Just put it in there for him. Okay. Okay, check back in the comments. But she do have P.O. Box. I think it would be, and um, she put that in there as well. Bye, Auntie. Love you. I will call you 
sleep today, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this video. Also, don't forget to, you know, stay safe, stay blessed, make sure you distance yourself, wash your hands, and continue to wear your mask. And please try not to gather. I know it's hard. I want to be with my family, too. We usually do a really big Thanksgiving, a lot of food, a lot of different people, in and out, people we haven't seen in years, maybe decades, but try this year. It's going to be different. So make sure you stay safe. Stay blessed. Check on someone. Let them know you love them. I love you, but God loves you more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.